Bush administration announced far-reaching changes in 2002? Federal regulation of mercury from power plants is essentially at a standstill right now. The uh, federal government long ago recognized that mercury from power plants was a problem. In 1990, Congress required EPA to study mercury from power plants, and if it found that indeed, as was suspected then, that mercury from power plants was a problem, to impose stringent regulations on power plants to reduce mercury emissions. EPA finally came out with that study uh, many years late in 2000 and determined based on extraordinary amounts of, of uh, scientific evidence that mercury in fact causes tremendous uh, health problems both in humans and in wildlife. It, it was a neurotoxin and it works its way up the food chain so animals that are at the top of the food chain like loons and humans, we both eat fish, and those fish eat smaller fish, which eat the bugs, which have the mercury, uh, are at great risk from mercury poisoning. Based on that, the Clean Air Act would require EPA to impose stringent controls on all the coal-fired power plants to limit their mercury emissions on a very tight time frame. So uh, EPA, unfortunately, was late in doing that, and there was an agreement that, uh, after a court battle, that they would issue these strict rules by 2008. And those rules would probably reduce mercury by 70 to 90 percent, using a technology that's available. Unfortunately, then what happened is the Bush administration reconsidered the program and determined that, despite all the science, they would take mercury off the list of hazardous substances, and instead of requiring each power plant to reduce its emissions significantly, to establish a much delayed, what they call, cap and trade program. There would be a national cap that would be phased in over many decades, over several decades, and companies, different power companies, could trade amongst themselves. The trouble with this is, first, it's illegal. Uh, it is, we think, clearly contrary to the Clean Air Act in terms of both the decision to decree, contrary to its earlier finding, that mercury is no longer a hazardous substance when the science is clearly otherwise, and also to use this, this very weak cap-and-trade program in the place of the program that the Clean Air Act, in the place of the program that Congress and the President, when it was signed, uh, by the first President Bush, intended to be used for toxic pollutants like mercury. So instead of a program that would require each power plant to reduce its mercury emissions uh, significantly and quickly, we have a program that is, uh, would require some power plants to reduce their emissions somewhat over several decades. Uh, in our view, it's a much, much worse from a public health point of view, it obviously is much less protective of the environment, and it's illegal, as I said, and for that reason we've gone to court to challenge the rules.